you all are doing well. In my today's session, I'll be discussing about the stages of behavior change. Anyone who has ever broken a new year's resolution can appreciate the difficulty of behavior change. Making a lasting change in behavior is really a simple process. Why is behavior change so hard? Now the question arises. Most of our behaviors is habitual. Behaviors become automatic when repeated over time. A good example of this is when you learn to drive, it requires conscious efforts to learn and remember all the right steps, mirror, signal, maneuver, anyone. But as the time goes, those actions become your habit. Let's have a look on the role of neuroplasticity in behavior change. It refers to how we our brain change as we learn. It refers to the physical structures of the brain. A new connection form in your brain every time you learn something new. It's weak at first, but with repetition that connection becomes stronger over time. This means that the new healthier behavior is converted into a habit. There are three stages of it. The first is chemical change, secondly structural change and thirdly functional change happen. In the first stage in chemical change, these are the short term changes in the brain chemistry in response to your new behavior. They boost short term memory and improve your motor skills. Secondly in a structural change, new connections form altering the brain's structure. This boosts long term memory and long-term improvement of your motor skills and functional change entire brain network change becoming more efficient in their functioning when positivity comes in your behavior you will be more dedicated and devoted at your job as well you will be able to meet your assigned tasks your targets and finally you will be earning more money with your change of behavior Let's have a look on the elements of behavior change. Before you start your planned stages, you must first understand your planned stages of change. These are the factors that will either help or hinder you in achieving your desired behavior change. Behavioral change is basically what proposes different models. Each includes different elements of change. The elements of behavior change mainly comprises of your willingness your willingness to change the benefits of change and your barriers to change let's have a look on the six stages of behavior change the first stage relates to pre-contemplation stage In this, during this stage people are not considering a change people are in this state of denial because they claim that their behavior is not a problem secondly contemplation stage people are more and more aware of the potential benefits of making a change and then they are going to prepare themselves they might begin to make a small change for a larger life change for example if losing weight is your goal you might switch to low carb diet and then you will be acting physically that's called action people begin to take direct action to accomplish their goals if you have to lose the weight your immediate action will be exercise diet control and curbing on the snacks and rest of the things which can put on the weight After this, you have to successfully maintain, that is called maintenance, for avoiding former behavior and keeping up the new behavior. And the last but not the least is the sixth stage, which is called relapse. Relapse are the common occurrence. When you, leave, when you relapse, you might feel failure, disappointment, and frustration. Subscribe and like my video. I would really appreciate if you can let me know one behavior of yours you want to change in the comment box. Allah Hafiz. Bye.